Before we begin the video, I'd like to give a big shout out to our most recent Patreon supporters Snake VR, Luis Alvarez, Max Ratliff, Landon Lado, Michael Abeta, and Goyulas200. Thank you so much for your support. And if you want to support us on Patreon, feel free to click the link down below in the description to find out more. Thanks again. Hey guys, I'm on the uh, request channel on the Discord pretty regularly. I make sure that people are not submitting like way more videos than they're supposed to. Because you get two a week if you sign up for our Patreon, you get four a week. Um, this dude named Regreem has been requesting this for a very long fucking time over and over again every week. Uh, I told him I've already played the entire game and I know everything about it. But uh, he keeps requesting it. So I was like, can we requ can we just watch this since this guy keeps asking? So he'll stop asking. <laughs> So this is the trailer for a game called Fury, which is a badass game uh, that was apparently coming out on the Nintendo Switch. I'm sure it's out by now because apparently the trailer's a year old. <laughs> so I um, figured I'd show it to Chad and Nate. And uh, this is one of my favorite, like I guess, underground indie games that I've played. So uh -huh. if you guys would like to check this out, see what you sure. think about it. All right, let's. Uh, let's it's take a, a uh, it's a boss rush game basically. So it's all boss fights. Oh and, shit! I understand that. Yeah, you'll see what it's like whenever uh, they show it. Here we go. Very unique art style as well. I like the soundtrack a lot. Yeah, the soundtrack is, cool. is amazing too. Actually, oh no, I do remember this. This uh, it's a boss rush slash bullet hell. Yep. It's got a lot more mechanics to it than the normal I, bullet hell. I actually do as remember well, Yahtzee talked about this game. He liked it a lot. Yeah. A lot of cool looking characters. What'd you say, Chad? A lot of cool looking characters. Mm. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> uh, every character you see besides the guy with the white hair and the red cape and the sword pretty much and the bunny headed guy are bosses that you fight in the game huh. and I like the dude with the dual mask yeah um, oh yeah the the peaceful mask that is the, the uh, first guy actually yeah and he's nice. the jail keeper uh, that you break out of prison by defeating so um, now that's that's on switch yeah and um I recommend giving it a try, honestly. It's super fun, uh, especially if you like a little bit of a challenge. It's not as hard as something like Dark Souls, yeah. but there is a lot of pattern learning in it. Um, but the cool thing about it is you and the boss's health bars are divided into full segments. And whenever you knock off a segment from him or he knocks off one from you both of your segments refill completely and it's just that segment's gone oh. and it what it does is it makes the fight draw out and play like a giant fucking anime battle hmm. like because you have to beat <laughs> him like you know seven eight nine times to win like you have three health bars if you do knock one of his off too you get one back oh shit. so like yeah you it, it's it's not totally unforgiving it gives you plenty of opportunity to learn the patterns and stuff when you play it some of them still take several tries but like it's pretty cool just how epic it makes the fights feel because they keep yeah. going and going and they get more and more challenging as they go through their phases. Usually they have like some sort of ultimate last phase where you can't actually damage them during it. And it's just, you have to survive their ridiculous final attack and then yeah. you can finish them off. <laughs> so it's a pretty cool game. Sounds I definitely like recommend game checking it out. I would get out. my ass kicked in a lot. Yeah. Like I did several times when I first played it, but it was totally worth it. Very fun. You got to see cool. me play games more. You will laugh. A lot because I'm terrible. I love video games, obviously, yeah. but I'm so terrible at them. No, it's it, fun. It's I'm, not I'm bad easy. At, uh, I'm bad at Persona, honestly. I feel like <laughs> that's um that's a game that really does give you the option to enjoy the story if you want to focus mainly on that, and I appreciate it because mm. the lore to that franchise 
honestly draws me more than the gameplay um, does. The last stream I did of Persona 5, I had to fight Madarame. Oh, yeah. and I straight up just died. Like the first time, like I just walked yeah. into the room and died. Pretty much, you got to prepare, pick. and especially in the older ones, you got to prepare for shit that you don't know what you're preparing for. Yeah. So it's like if you don't prepare right, you're screwed. You got to yeah. go back and. Uh, a lot of try the your turn-based again. RPGs are kind of like that. It's like you walk into a fight, you'll get completely obliterated and be like, "All right, I guess I need to equip this this time." Yeah. <laughs> So, I don't know. The, the new one's still like that, in my opinion. Oh, like, yeah. I, like, I walked in, I died, I was like, I don't remember this happening the first time it's I tried this fight. It's just not as brutal, and there's more clues as to it, what you need to do. Yeah, to an extent, it's like there's luck, <clears throat> like, with some of it, because one of it was just like, okay, he cast a spell and downed, like, two people at the beginning mm. of the fight. Not and good. then, like, uh, he immediately went straight for Joker. And if Joker dies, it's game over. Yeah. So, like, the fact that he just attacked Joker twice in a row was kind of just unlucky before yeah. I had a chance to do anything about it. But, yeah, it's it's still a brutal fight. I had to struggle to, like, you know, I was sitting there being like, I'm going to do this next. Okay, I'm still alive. I'm going to do, I better do this now or I'm going to lose, like, next round, you know, and stuff like that, like, the whole fight. And I was like, oh, I got him at the end of it. I was like, I got him. Sweaty Woo! hands. Yeah. Sweaty Woo! hands. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> slippery sweaty hands. I've, I've Speaking been Speaking of the Switch, slippery sweaty hands with the Switch is bad. Oh, yeah. You that's don't want to recommend- drop it. That's why I recommend uh, playing with the Pro Controller, because the Pro Controller makes things a lot easier. I almost yeah. have to, to put the Joy-Cons into the little controller to play almost that's, anything. That's that's all right. That's all well and good. But, yeah. but to me, man, I mean, nothing beats the... Uh, the pro controller because the pro Will controller let you click the things onto the side to take it with you and then link a pro controller and play with that instead like just yeah. lean it against something and play yeah. with that well, yeah. you can use the kickstand yeah it's okay. got a kickstand yeah, yeah, you, you lean the kickstand out and you actually can say it actually at the very moment you plug up the uh the controller to it it auto it auto syncs right then and there and then you, you won't have to worry about it again unless you plug it up to a different one. Yeah, because when yeah. I had mine, I always worried about dropping it when I would walk around playing it. <laughs> I need to get a pro controller. Well, you it's can so hard. It's so hard to play like 2K19, the basketball game with like it on the. On the yeah, well, you can borrow order. mine, dude. It's because yeah. it's it's very. I'd like reminiscent. to try it. Yeah, it's it's very reminiscent. It's it's shaped a lot like a 360 controller, mm-hmm. but ergonomically, it actually makes. A bit more sense. Really? Yeah. yeah. Ergonomically, wow. it feels better I, I than a, a 360 better. controller to me. Yeah. Er- ergonomically, it 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 just feels better. Nate's taking care of me, folks. I mean, I'm I'm so spoiled living with this man. Oh, your your controller sucks. Don't worry, I got yeah, you. Despite the fact that this is a Switch trailer, <laughs> if you guys do want to try this game, I have it on Steam, so feel free to ask, and I'll oh. let you guys try it out anytime. Yeah, you want. yeah, cool. Yeah, but. All right. Well, we hope that you set we uh, satisfied the the uh, requester out there because if we see this again, we know you're trolling. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Either that, or you're so just you stupid can stop and don't asking. Watch channel. <laughs> it's like because all of a sudden like, I just see. No, it. I have. A, we have actually put out so we put out Freeman's Mind episode four, three and four. And I was like two weeks later and like I noticed I was like, Why is he still asking for episode three over and over again? I was like, dude, we put out episode three. The next week he puts it again and I'm like, Dude, we put out episode three and he's finally like, Oh, my bad And I'm just like, Pay attention, man, motherfucker. It's been three weeks. <laughs> we did this for you, man. Yeah. We did this for you. <laughs> so yeah, hopefully this hopefully this is hopefully this satisfies the uh, requester and hopefully uh, you know you enjoyed our reaction. Hopefully to it. you will Even hit though, the bell um, on the video or yeah, hit the bell on the channel and join the Discord. You're already in the Discord. Hopefully you will pay attention to the announcements page because I'll probably stream this game at some point. So come by, hang okay. out for Green. So there you go. Anybody else that wants to see this game as well, like, right. I'd appreciate you hanging out with me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to do it for this. Uh, this was the Fury trailer for the Nintendo Switch. We hope that you enjoyed and... I guess until next time, signing off, I'm Nate. I'm Nick. I'm Chad. We will see you all in the next one. Peace out.